Guys, today I'm looking at the latest smartwatch offering from Tozo. This is the S2. And for a fully featured smartwatch for both Android and iOS at a price tag of around £40, how does this stack up to the more expensive Apple and Galaxy watches? Find out in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seeing for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, smartwatches. Well, I have had a lot of these. Some good, some bad, and some pretty damn terrible. Now, being a watch collector and having several Swiss automatic watches, I always agonize over the workmanship of a proper watch movement versus, well, a printed circuit board on your wrist or even a smartphone on your wrist. But being a tech enthusiast, I just cannot help myself and always find myself gravitating to new tech smartwatches. Trust me, I've been buying these things for the last 20 years when actually smartwatches weren't really that smart at all. Now, before we get into it, I just have to say that Tozo sent me this S2 smartwatch to review in exchange for my honest opinion. And if you followed my channel, guys, you will know that you're always gonna get my honest review and opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So, why do we actually need a smartwatch? Well, I guess if you don't have a watch at all, it's a good thing to buy. You get to kill two birds with one stone. You get a watch to tell the time. I know a lot of people use their phones to tell the time these days, but you get a watch to tell the time and you get the convenience of having phone type apps and notifications on your wrist, negating the need to get your phone out at all sometimes. But the reality of these devices today means that most of us are interested in health apps. We want to monitor our steps, our sleep, our water intake, our exercise, and so on. And maybe add a few notifications. So in comes the Tozo S2. Now this is light, bright, and is packed with health stuff. Oh, and it looks like an Apple Watch, right? But it will connect to Android as well as iOS. This S2 is packed with health stuff. It has sleep tracking, water intake, steps, tons of exercises, brilliant battery life. I mean, this thing has been going for days and days now, and it still has over 50% battery. And don't forget that heart rate monitor. It also has lots of apps and lots of watch faces and it costs less than 40 pounds so guys let's just have a quick look in the box and then we'll have a whiz around the screens so guys in the box we have some instructions we have a usb a to proprietary magnetic charging cable more on that in a minute and we have the watch itself like i said this looks like an apple watch it's light, it has a silicon strap which is easily removable via the spring clips. On the buckle it has some subtle Tozo branding and all in all feels pretty nice. Now back to that cable, well I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. Okay, I can forgive the fact that it's USB-A but on the other end a proprietary connector this is not good. Okay, I mean, it is magnetic, but it's weak and kept falling off when moving the watch when I was trying to charge it. Nowadays, we are wireless charging. This would have been better, but for the price, I kind of accept that this would have made it more expensive. So let's take a quick whiz around the screens. So first off, you can see the watch face that I have shows a bunch of different health-relating info, including steps, calories, and heart rate. You can scroll across these to access the same info, but in a lot more detail. You also have the list of different exercises that you can choose from, which is pretty neat. This S2, guys, also gives you the option of connecting to Alexa, which is pretty neat because you can control your lights or other devices, as well as asking questions. But note, there is no audio response, only written. 
Let's uh, give that a try. Turn off the office lights. Haha, it's done. And it says okay. Don't know if you can see that, but anyway. Turn on the office lights. So, that's pretty neat, right? Like I said, no audio responses, only written. You also have a bunch of settings, including do not disturb, um, don't wake on raising of your wrist. So that's pretty neat if you're asleep and you're tracking your sleep with this. And a find my phone function, which is also pretty neat. You can also select a number of apps and notifications, including the ability to control music playback, as well as selecting different watch faces, for which there is a watch face market store. Battery life is pretty damn good. In fact, it's impressive. On standby, this has been going for more than two weeks and with constant use, several days. So pretty impressive. Let's just try out that find my phone function. There you go. So you kind of get to find your phone as well. So guys, that just about wraps this one up. There are a ton of good things to say about this S2 smartwatch from Tozo. Although I feel that it's predominantly designed around fitness and health, this S2 gives you all the notifications and alerts when you're being called, emailed, whatever, and has a pretty powerful vibration on your wrist. It's got a ton of built-in apps as well as a ton of features to explore and amazing battery life. If you have any comments or questions, then I'll leave them below. I'll also leave any product descriptions and discount codes in the description. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really makes a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Tozo for sending me this S2 smartwatch. I wore this for about three weeks solid and it was comfortable and the strap didn't burn me like the Apple Watch that I returned. And guys, if you have any questions or you want to know any more about this watch, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Guys, I'm Dave with Scenes for a Lens and I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.